Hello viewers, welcome back to JK Tech Solutions. Today we are going to learn about how to design a coplanar waveguide that is CPW transmission line using ANSI software. Before going into the video, new viewers please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Let's get into the video. Simulate the wave propagation in a CPW transmission line. The CPW consists of a Rogers RT5880 substrate with relative permittivity 2.2, height equal to 0.8 mm with a 2 mm wide center conductor and a 0.5 mm gap between the conductor and ground. Then apply a 1 V by M input wave at 5 GHz and simulate the wave propagation. Compute the electric and magnetic field distribution around the CPW. Then determine the effective permittivity and characteristics impedance of the structure. And finally analyze how changing the substrate material influences wave propagation characteristics. First open ANSI software. Go to draw option. Draw a 3D box. And change the position into minus 7, 5, 0, 0, and x size into 15, and y size into 20, and z into 1.6, then press apply and OK. Then draw a rectangle on the top of the box. And change the position of that 0, minus 1 point. Sorry, minus 1.5 comma 0, 1.6. access into 3 apply and press ok and change the color into what you want go to draw option choose rectangle and draw a rectangle at the top left of the box then change the dimensions Then draw another rectangle. Do it again for the right side. Change the colors. Then 
then rename the rectangle one into line and apply and ok and rectangle two into ground one then apply and ok and rectangle three ground two then apply and ok then select three rectangles on the top and assign boundary go to perfect E and press ok now we assign E fill to that then again go to draw option select rectangle and change the axis into XZ draw a rectangle change the dimensions and x size into 10 y size into 9.6 plus apply ok then copy this rectangle and paste it and change the position now it look like this now assign excitation go to assign excitation click port then press wave port press next and finish now we assign excitation then for the other side do it again we put then press next finish now we need to draw a 3d box go to draw option select 3d box before that changing the axis into xy and now select the box 3d box then draw over the object and change the position X size, Y size, Z. Press apply and OK. Now assign boundary. Press radiation and press OK. Now we assign the radiation to the box. And rename it as radiation. Set transparency into 1. And change the material into air.
ப்ளஸ் ஓகே தென் அப்ளை ஓகே நவ் வீ கேன் கிளியர்லி சீ த இன்சைட் ஆர் ஆப்ஜெக்ட் நவ் சேஞ்ச் த நேம் ஆஃப் பாக்ஸ் ஒன் into substrate and material into rajas rt5880 press apply and okay Now go to Analysis, Add Solution Setup, go to Advanced, set the frequency, into 2.4 GHz and maximum number of passes 10, press OK and change the starting frequency. into 1 gigahertz and the end at 10 gigahertz press okay then go to simulation validate everything will be all right press analysis save the file now the analysis progress is in going after the progress go to results then choose 2d select as parameters and press new report now we get as parameter plot one output now i select the box and hide it and square the same rectangles also then press the tool orient then go to plot fields assign magi press done press view go to animate press animate now we can see the e field now delete that plots now go to plot fields and assign hatch field press mag hatch and press okay now we can clearly see the hatch field in the transmission line now delete all the plots now assign vector press done go to animate press animate now assign vector for hatch field again animate
hope this video was very useful to you thank you for watching us